What's up, Jeroni Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we're hopping into Malcolm in the Middle, episode number 12 of season number one, of course. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reaction. You can get episodes extra early if you want them. If you don't want them, that's okay. You can get them when they show up here on YouTube. Uh, you can get you can get episodes for $1 as well over there, fully uncut, unedited if you want. But... Nonetheless, uh, last episode was the funeral episode, which I thought was a pretty good episode. I, I feel like I'm, I think I might have given it an eight. I, I can't remember what I gave it, but that's the like you know the whole family giving up on each other because of the funeral situation. Malcolm turning on Reese, the the, the, the girl that Malcolm likes sliding into the guard. I mean, a lot of funny, not funny, but a lot of good stuff happened last episode that I enjoyed. So hopefully this episode kind of ones it up. I mean, it's called cheerleader. Reese was in a cheerleader outfit, so he's going to join the cheerleading team. Either that or he's going to steal somebody's cheerleading outfit. Um, yeah, so we're going to hop right in there, have a good time. Pretty much like, comment, subscribe. Here we go. Do be. Do, do, do be. Do, do. Ah. All right, class. Recess is over. Oh, this was recess. <laughs> but recess, uh, uh, Malcolm goes outside. I think you should say. I don't know why mom makes me get up at eight. School doesn't even start to eight fifteen. <laughs> You're super late. What are you doing? Nothing. You look different. I took a shower. I knew it. She's so nasty. He doesn't take a bath. Wait, you don't have school? If it's 8 o'clock and the school's at 8.15... Boring, boring, boring. I'm incredibly boring. Do you know who's boring? <laughs> Me. Boring, goring, zoring, loring, doring, noring... For Terrifying. I can make you happy. I can make your brothers be nice to you. I can get you out of school. Your parents want to buy me for you. All you gotta do is ask them. The They're making like of a serial killer right now. Go ask them. Go on. Yeah. Go ask them. This is what how kids see it. Can you buy me a Harvey? No, they're too expensive. Maybe. Ask me again in four seconds. <laughs> Can you buy me a Herbie, please? Oh my Didn't god. Didn't you just hear me? I said no. Ask louder. Son! What? That's how kids see what did Francis do now? Frogs from the biology lab. Were you crying? No, I was reading. You don't read. Just shut the door, Krailboy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in here, perv. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> ha! You're crying. What the Man, hell? You're crying. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. You don't want to talk about it. Do you? It's about a girl. I should have just. <laughs> he threw something at her. <laughs> this, these things. Oh, man. I'm toilet paper in her house tonight. Oh, my Jesus. If that doesn't work, I'm out of ideas. My God, you're a moron. Maybe dude. I can help you. What am I supposed to do? I don't nice know. Just try anything that doesn't make her cry. I guess you could start off by... Go, go, oh, he's going to see the go, male cheerleader and he's going to be like, yep, go, that's what I got to do. Go, 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 go. Uh... That's it. Ah! Race! <laughs> I thought he was gonna join the football team. Nope, he's a cheerleader. Chris, why? Why are you dressed like that? I figured out what she likes. I started cheering for the football team, so I joined the cheerleading squad. Why didn't you join the football team, doofus? She's a cheerleader. Reese, you're a guy. Guy cheerleaders are the lowest of the low. <laughs> Worse than band. Worse than crowboys. The only thing lower is that guy that never takes his hand out of his butt. Oh, oh. Chester. He's a cheerleader too. Does loft solo work? Oh my Jesus! I tried to help him. That's I nasty. gave him advice. I tried reasoning with him. There's only one thing left to do: sit back and laugh my ass off. Good luck. 
Now, I am going to tell you a story about my life. Yay. Also finally getting you to straighten yourself out. Now, in the coming hours, you are going to hear things that are going to horrify you. It sounds illuminating, sir, but I have biology. I've taken the liberty. Do we not go to school? Do we have you forgotten me? I thought Do we have friends. issues? All of the boys and girls on your street are my friends. Like mental they issues? Me. Your parents have lots of money. They're just hiding it. He's eating a toy. Buy me for me. It's for your own good. I didn't want to tell you this, but if you don't buy me, you'll die. Honestly, Hal, I don't know what's wrong with Reese. Oh, he's just a little slow. No, I mean the way he's been acting. Hey, Mom, where's the iron? Oh. It's, it's a girl. girl. Ready, hit it. B-E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. Oh, look at him. Reese is killing it, man. Look at those moves. Why would any girl? Geek. I never thought I did to say that. Oh my god. I'm a crowbar with a brother who's a cheerleader. <laughs> I can wet my pants in public and reveal lateral move. Oh my god. That's a lot of battle cry. Success. Thanks to Reese. Maybe he'll be good at it. Nope, never mind. Mistakes were made. Hey, Malcolm. You think your brother will lend me his corset? Oh, look at When a crowd boy makes fun of you, you know you're in trouble. Are... See, that comment was playing off the concept that we all have specific notions of gender. Did? Can you name one thing in your life that you don't blame on your mother? Oh, shit. Sure? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I was just giving an opinion. Well, it's that pop psychology nonsense that's... It is nothing to get defensive about. I am not defensive. <laughs> <laughs> Every time anybody denies a lie, they're called defensive. Fine, I take it back. Your mother was a saint. Help us out, fight! Is he gonna be good? Fight, 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 fight harder! Wildcats, help us out, fight! We got scared! Wildcats, we got scared! Wildcats, we got what? 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 We got scared! Look at him go! Wildcats, we got scared! Oh, dude, bro. Oh, what? You keep messing with your butt for it. Is she gonna think? No, no, we're we're good. He just smell his hand. Uh. Who's been helping you on your spare hairs? <laughs> oh my God, you're back to being the mess. God, Reese, I really have to go. He's such a dumbass. I'm the most worthless, putrid loser in the world. Everybody hates me. I hate me. <laughs> <laughs> your brother and I. Where else? So I need your I'm undivided pretty attention. Pretty positive he can't. It's very important that you be bored and squirm a lot. Now, I want to tell you about what happens when a boy really, really likes a girl. And Dewey, I'll try to make this easy for you to understand. Right. Ah. Oh man, I still play with that. <laughs> yeah. You see, there's a certain thing that happens between normal, healthy people. It's called chemistry. No, that doesn't happen. Except maybe the first time. <laughs> what does happen is this. I like you. Look at me. I'm crazy. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Watch me crash and burn. I mean, yeah, that would be Reese. Crashing and burning. There's no explaining it. It's hereditary. And it goes back for generations. Francis <laughs> has it. So does Uncle Pete. It's why your great grandpa went to work on that oil rig in Peru. All I know is your mother must carry some sort of internal antidote. Because through some fluke, I was lucky enough to get her. I just wanted you boys to know what you were in for. So this was the talk? I thought the talk was... Okay. And there was so much I wanted to tell her. But she was gone. You heard Dad. I'm doomed. You can't quit. I worked too hard for you to quit now. I hate to inform you, brain boy. It's not about you, it's about me. That's before I spent an entire day with your head on my ass. <laughs> you owe me. I can't help you. Yes, you can. You can break this cycle Dad was talking about. You have to talk to Wendy. I can't. I freeze off. Do you want to end up like Francis or Uncle Pete? I don't care anymore. Anything is better than this. Even marrying Mom? Hmm. 
do we? Your mother and I want to Hey, talk. they got him the toy. Did you say something? Wendy, I really like you. Like when a boy likes a girl. Normal and healthy. I'm sorry for hurting you all those times. I'm really not a bad guy. Anyways. Thanks. Huh. Nice. I like you too. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Uh oh. I even kind of liked your bad boy side too. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, this doesn't feel sturdy at all. Yep, that's okay. Yep. Try the new and improved Chipperoo cookie today. I can make you taller. I can make you better looking. If you eat enough of me, I can make you president. Maybe even emperor of the world. <laughs> Honey, can you buy me a box of these cookies? Make it two. Make it two boxes. Oh my god, they are so him. It's crazy. All right, well, that was episode number 12, uh, Cheerleader. Um, I'd probably give that episode. Hmm, I don't know. I like the cheer. I like the cheerleader story. The, and the, the um the uh, the Dewey stuff was weird, but also interesting. I'd probably give it a seven. Honestly, I didn't laugh or anything. Um, I mean, I, I chuckled a couple times, but it wasn't anything crazy. Um, but I thought that the episode is one that's definitely like worth watching. And you'll have some fun with it. And there's a lot of interesting little, you know, like we got, I mean, clearly Reese is going to have a girlfriend. I mean, I'm guessing, right? Maybe for a little bit, at least. Uh, again, how how is his kids? Like, they are so him. It's kind of scary. He is, or he is so dumb. I don't know, because he acts like a like a, like a child. Uh, but we'll go through the episode. Uh, the episode starts off, essentially, we... Uh, have Malcolm essentially playing outside and these uh, his fellow students have to stay inside because he's a bit embarrassed of them and I'm thinking that's what we were supposed to interpret that that they said him because Malcolm told him to um, we see Reese getting all handsomed up for something we don't know why and then we start getting to get these weird weird things with Dewey now Dewey's weird like he's really weird. He, I mean, I, 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 I get what they were going for. Where this is what they think, this is what they think they're doing, but they're actually doing the opposite, or this is how how they perceive commercials and stuff. But like, <laughs> it very much feels like the makings of a serial killer. Um. All right. Then we have Reese all you know eating and being all proper and not getting dirty and the family's all like, wait, what is happening? Who is this? What have you have? What have you done for a son? Um, we get this elephant thing. And the first thing I thought I'm like, this is creepy, man. This feels like serial killer in the making right here. Holy shit. Like I am. Woo. I would like, this is all, like, this was all terrifying the way he would see the creatures, like the, the things. And then I thought this was cool, like, cause you know how like when you have a kid, a brother, or like kids, you tell them something, then they ask you something right after, like literally right after, <coughs> and you, you're like, did you not hear me? I thought the interpretation of how that how that went down in Dewey's head was kind of actually pretty smart. <laughs> like you tell him something, but this is how he hears it. I, don't know, I thought it was interesting. Um, you see, so I I didn't care at all about anything that was happening with Francis. Like, I just did not care this episode. I didn't find this to be that compelling or interesting. I mean, I guess the one thing is that they got close, kinda. But other than that, I don't know. I just didn't care about the whole fact, like him having issues and Francis getting in more trouble. I don't know, I didn't really, literally all of this, I was just kind of going through the motions with what this was. It was just like, oh, it's fine. I, this is what I cared about, the cheerleader aspect of it and Reese and Malcolm help like Malcolm helping him out and stuff. I thought about that, but other than like the Francis stuff is not good. I mean, him crying here is probably it's probably the best part of the whole thing, the crying aspect of it. Um, and then yeah, going right into the fact that he he acts like a four year old. You know, like when they say like when um a kid likes a girl when they're like little, like a toddler or six years old, they push the girl down or something or long or they pick on her. That's what he was doing. 
And then I like that they explained it later on with uh, the dad explaining them with the talk, but not the talk that I thought was going to happen. It was a different talk. Um, he, th- he thinks about TP in the house. Malcolm's like, I got it. You can, you know, do the things that she likes, be like a guy that she would fall for. And his response to that is, yeah, she likes cheerleading. So I'll be a cheerleader. And Malcolm's like, you should have been a football player. In actuality, I mean, the cheerleading thing actually worked for Reese. Because in the end, he said she liked him. Um, Malcolm is worried. He's embarrassed. Let me get back here. I don't really care about any of this, honestly. Um, I was kind of bored with this stuff. Uh, the Dewey stuff was interesting again. But at this point, I was like, is Dewey... Is Dewey okay? Oh, it is Dewey. Because Dewey looks like he's six, seven years old, right? He looks a little bit older than my niece, who's five. And he looks at a toy and in his brain he sees this is he okay mentally because I'm starting to have serious doubts about him um they kept talking about the talk um uh, Reese is still trying to you know do those, this whole thing the geeks are making fun of Reese Reese is not good at the cheerleading stuff so Michael has to help him later and I didn't care about any of this I mean they opened up about his mom and he opened up about his mom, kinda. I don't know. I didn't really care because I didn't care about any of this. Um, he's bad at it. Malcolm helps him. In actuality, this episode might be a six, actually. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, this part was funny when he was like being good. He was good at it. Like I like this, but he's like, he's just having a. He's like, yeah, I'm having a blast. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know what's happening with my throat right now. Um. Let's see. Yeah, then the talk and he, how it explains to them how it is for them where they take rejection as love or something. Like, the way he was portraying it, he was like, I hate you. Oh, I love you more. And it just became like a very, very deep, dark, messed up thing. And he said it's hereditary, so every, we, they all have it. Let me have this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to get this episode of six. There was a lot of this I didn't care about. Um, and not even that it was funny, it just wasn't interesting. I just didn't, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't think it was interesting, very interesting. This stuff, I, I, here we go, Reese is giving up because he saw what his dad's future is. And I, I love that Malcolm's way of getting Reese not to give up was like, do you want to marry mom? Because Reese, for as much as he loves his mom, he hates his mom. And also they, the parents rewarded, uh, <clears throat> the parents rewarded uh, Dewey here with a toy after he threw a tantrum earlier. Which is interesting. And I love how the toy says, break me, break me. Um, Reese finally confesses to the girl he likes him. She says, I like you too. I like your bad side. And then they fall down, they get hurt, and it calls his mom. And then the cookie thing. This is where you're like, oh yeah, how is them 100%. And yeah, that's the episode. Like I said, the episode's probably, like, I started off with a seven, but honestly, I'd probably give it a six. Not very funny. Um, the stories that I liked were the Reese stuff. The Dewey stuff was interesting. The Francis thing, which was half the episode I didn't really care about. <coughs> um, all right, so I'm starting to like choke here for some reason. Uh, so I'm going to call it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.